Hey, what's up, SP? I'm Abel with Compass here in Santa Barbara, coming at you live with the Santa Barbara Living Show, where we'll be speaking to local business owners, entrepreneurs, community figures, and also checking out some local events taking place in our town. My hope is that you learn something new about Santa Barbara and get to experience why this place is so great and why it's so special to live here. That being said, let's get this thing started and discover Santa Barbara life together. Hey everyone, we're outside of the Santa Barbara Museum of Natural History where we're going to be checking out this awesome gem that we have in Santa Barbara. We're going to be getting a private exclusive tour, so please stick around and check it out. All right guys, so we're here inside the museum with Brianna Tivy, the Director of Marketing and Communications for the museum. She's gonna take uh, some time to actually go over a few questions that I put together for her and tell us a little bit more about the museum. So Brianna, hopefully you could tell me a little bit about the amount of work and time that goes into this. So what a lot of people don't know is that we're a world-renowned research institute as well. We have over 100 staff at the museum, about 100 volunteers. Um, the staff that are in our science and research center, the collections and research, uh, they're actively going on archaeological digs, going through specimens, naming new species, um, really filling in our collection so that we have a whole span of time to see how certain species and animals change over time in their habitats. Um, so this is really the, the most important part of the museum. This is where we're really contributing to science and to um, putting information out there that is actually used in a worldwide database that other scientists can come and, and use our research. Okay, so we're inside the Santa Barbara Gallery. I'm here with Brianna, and she's gonna give us a little bit more information as to why we love this gallery so much. So Santa Barbara Gallery reopened in June 2018 after we did our centennial renovation, so I was with our centennial anniversary and campaign. This gallery is a triptych, so it really talks about the beauty of the Santa Barbara region and how we're a biodiversity hotspot. Because we have the mountains and the coast and our south-facing coast, we're actually home to a lot of species that don't exist anywhere else. Um, so this section of the Santa Barbara Gallery has different dioramas that all represent a different ecosystem and different habitat in the Santa Barbara region. All right, so we're inside the Curiosity Lab with Brianna. She's going to provide us a little bit more information about the Curiosity Lab as well as some history about the museum and how it got started. Yeah, absolutely. So we are over 100 years old. We were started in 1916 as the Museum of Comparative Oology, which is the study of birds and eggs. Uh, it was very fashionable in the 1920s to collect eggs, and if you were wealthy, you would travel the world and come back with all these exotic eggs. And William Leon Dawson started his museum. I think it's because he had all these eggs and his wife wanted to get them out of the house and it said, can you make a museum? And so there, that's how we got started. Um, so we're in the Curiosity Lab right now. It's really kid central. It's heated and air conditioned, which is very nice and comfortable in Santa Barbara. Um, the whole point of this is for kids to touch and explore and interact. Every object in here it reflects a different exhibit hall. So if you think of this as being a mini museum all in one, so we have the mammals, we have the birds, we have paleontology, and we have art and camping and our outdoor experiences. So this is really, if you're gonna come here with kids, I would start here. All right guys, so we're in the Mammal Hall, one of my favorite exhibits here in the museum, and Brianna's gonna tell us a little bit about the recent renovation that just took place, and also some of these animals and where they can be found here in, in, in California. Yeah, absolutely. So the Mammal Hall was originally constructed in 1927, but in 2018 we did a complete renovation and restoration. Um, we tried to keep everything that we could and really revive it, so all the wood is original, most of the animals are original, and everyone just got, got some real love and attention to make them look their best again. Um, and all of these dioramas show you where the animal can be found. Um, so you can see where you're right now, and then if you go 10 miles, 20 miles, 100 miles away, that's where you can see them in their natural habitat. To really show you that nature's all around us. It's not something that's out there far away. It's in our backyard. And actually, this diorama is called Life at the Museum, and these are all animals that we see in our Mission Creek area. 
All right, guys, we are on the Walk of Wonder, and Brianna is going to provide us a little bit of information as to how the community can go about supporting the museum and actually continue to support it to keep it as you know the great place that it is. Oh, absolutely. So we're a nonprofit, just as many others are in town. We depend on the community for their support. The best thing you can do is just come visit us and bring your friends and bring people visiting from other places. Um, if you live nearby and want to come all the time, a, a museum membership is really the way to go. Um, it also gets you into our city center on, on Stern's Wharf. Um, and really just volunteer here, come here, be a part of our events and festivals and our lectures and, and just love this place and use it as your community resource. All right, guys, there you have it, the Museum of Natural History. I'd like to thank Brianna and the museum for allowing us to actually put this video together. We're sitting out here in the backyard of the museum. You should definitely come and check it out. It's a great place to bring your family, spend the day, have a picnic outside, enjoy the outdoors, and enjoy learning about all the dioramas and exhibits that they have here at the museum. It's a great place to be. It's awesome that we have it here in our backyard in Santa Barbara. So come out, buy a membership, support the museum. It's a wonderful thing for us here. I'm able with Compass. Have a good one.